We are entering a sadly not unprecedented era of increased xenophobia and racism. In the global north, the rise of President Trump and the victory of Brexit has been preceded and followed by an increase in discrimination towards migrants and minorities. In understudied contexts of the global south, migrants also face discrimination and exploitation. I found that many migrants were living a complex array of exclusions from citizenship, both in Bolivia and in Chile. In Bolivia, for example, whilst they had legal status, perhaps they had been excluded from finding waged employment, which had led to their migration to Chile. In Chile, maybe they found precarious employment, but had a regular legal status, had difficulties accessing healthcare, and lived in dangerous and overcrowded accommodation. I worked a lot with Luz Maria, who was 19 when I met her, and her partner Wilson, who was 22. They were from Plan Tres Mil, a poor peri-urban neighborhood on the edges of the city of Santa Cruz in Bolivia. They had ambitions for their lives together. Luz Maria wanted to continue with vocational training and Wilson wished to start a motor taxi business. However, after paying for costs for Wilson's chronically ill mother and to buy a motorbike so that he could start his business, they fell heavily into debt to informal lenders. Deeply concerned by this, they decided to migrate to Chile, where they had heard that you could get a good salary and even make some money to send home. They took the 50-hour bus journey from Santa Cruz to Santiago. Once there, however, things were not as they had hoped. Wilson started working for a contractor in construction and Luz Maria started working for a contractor in cleaning. She spent her days bending and lifting, breathing in the fumes of powerful cleaning fluids. They were living in poor quality accommodation in downtown tenement housing in Santiago. And they were just scraping enough to get by and try and send a bit of money home, whilst also trying to save for the Mercosur temporary resident visa, which would enable them to work legally and in better conditions. At this point, they were really living on a knife edge, quite far outside the bounds of what some of us would consider to be the most basic conditions for inclusion in society. The messiness and complexity of migrants' relationships to these different spaces across borders is best captured by thinking in terms of uncertainty and therefore uncertain citizenship.